Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. It's been a while since the last time I did my last painting tutorial and I just want to give a short explanation why I've been, um, I've been, or I've, I haven't been doing a lot of painting tutorials lately. It's because, you know, I'm enjoying, um, a lot of, uh, I'm enjoying myself so much here in Taiwan that, uh, I just want to focus more on going to different places here in Taiwan because I know that I can always go back to painting anytime and I know that uh, painting is much more uh, in my control you know what I mean <laughs> you know it's been a while since the last time I did a video so talking in English feels a little weird to me at the moment anyway uh, that's what I mean uh, I mean I'm just making the most out of my stay here in Taipei, in Taiwan. And as I told you, I can always go back to painting anytime I want. So I decided to shift first my attention to things that I know will expire <laughs> and later go back to painting. But now it's a holiday. Actually, today is a holiday. It's actually a long holiday it's gonna be a week-long holiday for us here in Taiwan especially for students because we are observing the Chinese New Year and today is the Chinese New Year's Day so yeah I decided to do a painting tutorial for all of you and we'll be doing a an eagle painting and it's been a while again since the last time I painted an eagle and you know eagles or birds are one of my go-to um go-to Paintings, uh, each time I start uh, a painting after not painting for quite a while, I usually do it with an eagle. So let's begin now. We'll only be using a few colors today. I think that was a long intro. That was a two minute intro. I hate doing long intros. <laughs> we have black, these are the colors. We have black, lots of titanium white, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. That's it. Okay, I'm going to background first my canvas. Actually, it's not a canvas. This is a cardboard. Okay, cardboard. All right. I actually bought new canvases, but they're quite big and I don't want to use them for tutorial. So I'm going to background first my board and I'm going to use my black and white. I'll be using gray color. Okay, lots and lots of gray today. Okay, I'm going to do some dark gray color. So just mix your white and black. Let's start now. I always love uh, dark backgrounds. Because for me, the painting or the subject just pops out. Of course, you can always fast forward this video if you don't want me to do if you don't want to see me do the background because it's pretty much just painting it gray. Nothing too special about it, but I think it's quite satisfying sometimes to just see it, you know, come together. I mean, the background. Okay, if you want to ask me if you can use a black background, I will not suggest that you use a black background. I would only suggest you use a dark gray background. The reason is that the body of the eagle is dark. So if you want the body of the eagle to be seen against the background, don't use a black background. That's the whole point.
All right. Since I'm using a board, uh, it's quite absorbent. So I have uh, no issue at all as regards drying time. So if you have issue with the drying time, meaning your paints dry so slow, you can use a hair dryer to dry it or to make things quite faster. Me, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. All right. I think this is okay now. I'm going to set this aside, my brush, and I'm going to shift to another brush, a cleaner one, just to sketch now the subject. I'll be using a small brush to sketch the subject, and for the sketch, I'll be using white, okay? So just dab your paintbrush onto your white paint, and let's start sketching the subject. We're not going to paint whole eagle, okay? Meaning we're more focused on the face. Okay, just like that. If the gray is mixing with the white, it's all right. This is just sketching, so don't need to worry too much. So this is the beak. Right, just like that. And then using white, I'm just going to continue all the way down. with the feathers, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna get my black, pure black this time. So just get your, okay. The white is still present. So get your pure black. This will be the body. The body is very easy. Okay, just like that. And I'm just gonna start coloring it black this take uh this step okay is preliminary so we will be going back to this area later but we want to make sure that we have an overview of what to expect Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my, oops, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I just hit my 
camera I'm gonna make some more feathers okay using a little bit of black and white to create a lighter gray color I'll be using this to create some feathers and when you do the feathers you follow the natural patterns or the natural yeah the natural patterns of the feathers you go uh, one way all right you don't go vertical horizontal you go one way only Right here. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little darker gray, but not as gray as the background. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of black. Just to identify where the eyes are gonna, where the eye is gonna go later. I think I'll be using my palette knife later or my fan brush. Okay, this is very prelimin preliminary. All right, so don't worry too much if it's, if it's not looking like an eagle. <laughs> I'm gonna get my yellow and white, okay? I'm gonna start doing the beak. I'm gonna add a little bit of black because we don't want to use pure yellow. It just doesn't look natural. I've explained that in my previous videos that every time we do nature, um, the colors of, the colors that we're gonna be using are muted. They're not supposed to be highlighter type of colors. It's just not the way nature, um, the nature uh, works. right just like that okay okay i'm gonna get my black i'm gonna gray this a bit remember to blend okay you don't want to have weird spots okay 
See my canvas is moving because I did not tape it, tape the back. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. As you can see, I'm not really washing my paintbrush here. Okay, again, it's black. The inside of the mouth. It's not black because it's not I mean, it's not black because it's black. It's black because of absence of light. It's not really receiving light. That's why it appears black or it appears dark. Okay, now using black, let's make the nose. The nose trills, right? Just leave it like that for now. Okay, all right. Now using my black, let's start creating some um, patterns on the feathers. Almost dry brushing, meaning you're not really using too much water. Dry brushing is very literal. You don't use um, too much water. Okay, I'm gonna get a dab onto my white, create more feathers. And actually, by not washing my brush, I create that natural look on the, the feathers. Because if you have very neat brush strokes, it doesn't look natural. It, I mean, that's my opinion. Like when the brush strokes, it's just, when the brush strokes are just so neat, almost like uh, computerized, just doesn't appeal to my, to my um, well, it just doesn't appeal to me. I don't know why. It just, uh, it sounds a little cheesy, but it's the same thing as, you know, human beings if they appear so good so perfect it just doesn't look natural right just doesn't appeal to me i don't know about some people maybe for some people yeah so it's the same thing i mean i apply the same principle when it comes to my paintings the more natural looking they are the more pretty they are Let's do some detailing on the head. Okay, around the face but in a different uh, motion, okay? In a different uh, direction, I mean. Yeah, like this. Little uh, and short brush strokes on the face. Okay. Near the beak.
Okay, using white, I'm just gonna highlight. Wait, I wait, 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 guys, I just. received a message Hmm. All right. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm going to highlight this part of the beak. All right, and then I'm going to get my yellow plus a little bit of red. Okay. Like maybe this type of color and I'm gonna use that to create some yellow colors just underneath the beak this will add more coherence you know coherence to your painting Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm not really washing my brush now because I feel like I don't have to wash it. I'm actually all right my cell phone is acting so weird Using some black. I'm adding more feathers. Okay, just like that. And then let's do the eye. Okay, We will only be doing one eye since we're doing the side view. Okay, I'll be using a smaller, more pointy brush. Okay, this one. And I'm just going to get my black. So this will be where the eye will go. Okay, 
like that. Okay, just like that. Then I'm gonna get gay. Let's color the inside of the eye. We're gonna use a little bit of orangey color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red to my yellow. And maybe white. Maybe this. Okay, maybe more yellow. Okay, I'm going to use this to color the inside. Maybe it's too orangey. Anyway, I'm just going to color it first. Okay, now while waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna go and make some more detailing using a more pointy brush. I'm gonna create more patterns. Again, dry brushing technique. So some whites that I'm using are brighter than the other, meaning some are mixed with black, some are mixed with, or some are pure white. That's why you can see some highlighted white. I'm going to lighten this part. Okay, just like that. All right.
All right. Now let's get a black. And let's paint the inside of the eye. And I think I have to make some adjustment. Right, just like that. I'm going to darken the lower beak and let's create some detailing. Okay, I'm going to use some like dots. No particular pattern on the dots, just apply short and quick brush strokes. Because the more careful you are, the more um, unnatural the look will be. Okay, I'm checking my phone again. Sorry about that. Let's go back to the eye. I will definitely make some correction. Okay. 
I'm gonna get my white again. Just highlight around the beat area. Okay, now I'm going to use white, but I'm going to add a little bit of red and black. And I'm just going to make some Okay, these are just small tiny details just on the body. These are subtle detailing that you actually may do away with, but I think we should not ignore some of this because it just gives more life to the painting. We will definitely do some more detailing on the eye.
I'm enjoying the feathers. You can tell. Okay, I'm gonna dry brush a bit just around this area. I want to give it some sort of light. Okay. You seeing why I'm just gonna make some. Just like that, very subtle. Okay, I'm gonna create some more. Wait, guys. Just make some dark shades. Okay, now I'm gonna use my palette knife. As I told you, we'll be using a palette knife, right? So using my palette knife, I'm just gonna dab onto my white. So just white. Don't, it doesn't matter if the other colors are mixing. Just get your white and go for it.
I'm gonna get some red, okay, and orange. Just create some orangey color. Maybe add a little bit of green, okay? The only purpose is just to make it more browny. And apply it quite randomly down on here. Very subtle. Doesn't have to be like obvious, but it should be there. I'm gonna get my black and in the same manner let's do some um, glazing just around the eyes darkening some areas Let me check. Okay, wow. It's dark in this area because you know it's under the the beak, so it should not be receiving too much light.
you know it's very quiet right here I mean in Taipei okay I'm gonna use a small brush Too watery. Okay, using black, I'm gonna darken that part of the eye. Near the forehead. Alright, just like that. To give the eye some sort of dimension, it's not flat, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use my fan brush. Actually, I think I don't have to use it, but I'm just gonna try. Maybe it's gonna give a little more effect. I kind of like the effect. Wow. 
Wow, so nice. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make some more um, darkening right under the beak. We're almost done. But since I'm feeling it, okay, I want to darken this area. Good. Good. That's what I like. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to sign this because... I love it already. Absolutely love it. If you want to clean your painting, meaning you just go around the shape again. Just to um, clean the edges. You can do that. So I'm going to use my small brush. It's <laughs> swimming in my <laughs> water bucket. I'm going to get my white since I do have a lot of white. And I'm going to sign right here. And we're done. We're done, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. And no, no, we're not done. Why did I say we're done? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to get some light yellow just around the nostrils because I forgot. I'm sorry. Right. Now we're really done. <laughs> okay. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you do this one as well. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy Chinese New Year. I'm not painting a rabbit, a rabbit today. <laughs> I can't speak English. I'm not painting a rabbit today, but I do have a rabbit painting tutorial that I did like in 2021. So you can check that out. I'll be linking in the description box below the link to that. Kitty rabbit. Ra Why I keep saying rabbit? <laughs> Is that rabbit? <laughs> it's a rabbit or a bunny, a bunny painting tutorial. And because I think it's just timely that we do some sort of a bunny painting because it's the year of the rabbit. If you're uh, observing Chinese New Year or if your if you're, um, tradition observes this kind of um, beliefs, okay, and culture. So yeah. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for painting along with me or thank you for watching me paint and see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.